Peter McGrail might be the next Lomachenko. Who? Who is Peter McGrail, knockout? I'm going to tell you in this video. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Turn on your notifications. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, Thursday night at 730 and you can also catch me live every Sunday morning with the Sangin' OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Join the channel as a member. Drop super chats when you come by the live streams. Drop super thanks when you come by the videos that we do. And keep the channel growing, man. We're trying to keep this shit going and keep the, up the momentum. Um, what else, bro? What else? What else? What else, bro? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be sure, bro. Be sure. To do your boy a favor and hit me up if you want to debate. Knockout box at 86 yahoo.com is an email. Now let's get it cracking. Uh Peter McGrail versus Fran Mendoza, 10 round, 122 pound fight prediction. Let's get it. McGrail, 27 years old, Southpaw, 5'7, 65 inch on reach, out of the UK, seven wins, no losses, five wins by way of knockout. Fran Mendoza, 26 years old, out of Columbia, 5'3, 17 wins, no losses, seven wins by way of knockout. Peter McGrail is a highly decorated amateur. World Series of Boxing, Youth Olympics, two that, you know, Commonwealth Games. And, bro, I'm watching him fight, and I'm like, damn, that's a young-ass Lomachenko after this bitch. And he got to fight tougher competition. But, bro, EJ, if you, if, you, if you don't watch him fight and he don't remind you of Loma, bro, and I think he, somebody let me know, my UK brothers, if you watch him, I believe I seen an interview or something. Or maybe I was watching Peter McGrail's last fight, but I think Loma is like the fighter that he look up to or some shit. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I do know this. He definitely been watching Loma ass. I'm talking about, I'm bro, this dude is full of footwork angles and counter punching while just trying to make your ass tired with feints and foot feints and making you lead, but then he lead, but then he counter you. He just... He just look like he the truth out there, bro. Now, with the UK fighters, you got to see. We got some questions. When you fight somebody, you know what I'm saying, stepping up. When you see what you look like. And then, most importantly, we got to see if you got the UK eye, bro. We got to see if you got the UK eye, bro. You know, Y'all know what the UK eye is. Don't act like you don't know what the UK eye is, bro. Kel Brook. <laughs> Joe Joyce. Daniel Dubois. Okay, Josh Taylor, y'all know what the UKI is, bro, don't play, y'all know what the UKI is, bro, we gotta make sure Peter McGrill ain't got the UKI, as long as he ain't got the UKI, and he can step up when the tough competition get hurt, and Peter McGrill look like he could be the truth, Fran Mendoza, he alright, he just way too basic for, for McGrill, McGrill, Mendoza ain't got no amateur experience, McGrill about to just be dancing on him. Straight left hand. Whoops. Oh. Bah. Counter right hook. Bah. Straight left to the body. Straight left, right hook. Like, bro, he just, he gonna be a little too much. McGrill got, he got, he got some saucy. He's saucy out there. Man, he's saucy, bro. He's saucy. I think he gonna stop this undefeated fighter. Yeah, I said it. He gonna be hitting them too clean. And they fighting in the UK. So the judge is going to be like, I mean, the, the ref going to be quick. They trying to let McGrail shine. They trying to build him. They believe in him. It's only his eight fight, ten rounder. What up? Eight fights, ten rounder. What up? What's happening? And he had 120. That's the other thing, bro. He ain't at a talent deep division, bro. Now, he ain't got no smoke for months anyway. <laughs> like, I ain't, like, I ain't going that far. I ain't, I ain't saying that. But Peter McGrath look like he could do something at, at 122. If his talent continues to translate up as he steps up in competition, everything look like it's there. Because them, because, bro, that type of style, a lot of dudes in that weight class historically, but they be having trouble with all them angles and footworks and different shit he be doing, man. He be doing that shit. Y'all go check him out, man. If you got time, man, this is on that Jack Catterall, Jorge Linares car going down on the zone. Y'all check this shit out, man. Peter McGrail. Remember the name? Peter McGrail. Okay? Good-looking young fighter out of the UK. Southpaw. Baby Loma. I'm going to call it that. Baby Loma out there, bitch. 
Baby Loma, not because he gonna accomplish what Loma accomplished, but he fight just like him. Somebody tell me where I'm wrong, man. I got McGrill. Stoppage between round five and round seven. Who you picking? Comment below, smash the like, sub up. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.